Ronald Reagan pulled up to the curb in a sleek black town car, rolled down his tinted window, and beckoned Lance Weller, author of the novel Wilderness, to join him. The long-dead president escorted Weller to a comic book shop stocked with every title Weller had ever wanted. But before he could make a purchase, Reagan swiped his wallet and skipped out the door. Of course, Weller was dreaming. He is one of many people around the world, including more than 600 featured in just one study, who say they are experiencing a new phenomenon, coronavirus pandemic dreams. Science has long suggested that dream content and emotions are connected to well-being while we are awake. Bizarre dreams laden with symbolism allow some dreamers to overcome intense memories or everyday psychological stressors within the safety of their subconsciouses. Nightmares, on the other hand, can be warning signs of anxieties that we might not otherwise perceive in our waking lives. With hundreds of millions of people sheltering at home during the coronavirus pandemic, some experts believe that withdrawal from our usual environments and daily stimuli have left dreamers with a dearth of inspiration, forcing our subconscious minds to draw more heavily on themes from our past. In Weller's case, his longtime obsession with comics came together with his constant scrolling through political posts on Twitter to concoct a surreal sense that he interpreted as a commentary on the world's economic anxieties.